These are the 1998 to 99 Orion 5s. The last Orion 5s of New York City Transit. Now their fleet numbers range from 6,000 to 6,349, with 6,000 to 6,002 being 1998 models, and 6,003 to 6,349 being 1999 models. So, without further ado, let's go to the list of depots that received New York City Transit's last Orion 5s. Here we go. So 6,000 to 6065 were delivered to Mother Clara Hill Depot, which was closed for rehabilitation in 2008, then reopened in January 2015, replacing the 126th Street Depot, while 6066 to 6119 were delivered to Amsterdam Depot, which was closed in 2003 and replaced by 100th Street Depot, present-day Tuskegee Airmen Depot, then was temporarily reopened in 2008 when Mother Clara Hill Depot was closed for rehabilitation. Then it got canned in 2010 due to budget cut. Anyway, 6120 to 6141 were delivered to Casey Stengel Depot, while 6142 to 6255 were delivered to Castleton Depot. And last but not least, 6256 to 6349 were delivered to Yukon Depot. And in the summer of 2013, 20 Orion 5s were transferred from Yukon Depot to Grand Avenue Depot as an exchange for some Orion 7 shit can, I mean, NGs, and to curb the mileage on the units that spent most of their lives in Staten Island. And the bus fans, transit fans, as well as myself, were like, HOLY SHIT! Oh, HOLY SHIT! <laughs> I mean, the Orion 5 diesel made a comeback to Brooklyn. Now that's something that we haven't seen since the mid-90s. And you know, I took advantage of that like no other person did. Anyway, so these particular Orion 5s were a little different from the Orion 5s from previous deliveries. Unlike the Orion 5s from 1994 to 96, these featured roof exhausts as well as newer and brighter destination signs. And they also featured LED lights, as seen on this unit right here. But other than that, they were pretty much the same. And these Orion 5s signify the use of the Detroit Diesel Series 50 engine, which sounds like this. Some of these units are capable of ringing, as heard in this video of 6125. I always knew Orion 5 CNGs could ring. But not Orion 5 diesels though. Now that's just neat. Now I'm not alone in this review. Here are a few words from my good friend and fellow transit fan, Mr. Reggie Broadway Line Davis. Take it away, Reggie. Hello, my fellow bus fans. This is Reggie Broadway Line Davis here to get my opinions and thoughts of the classic bus of the 1998-1999 Orion 5 diesel review. Now, the first time I remember riding Orion 5 was definitely on the Q20A and it zoomed down Main Street just as much as the Q44, as well as the Q76 on Francis Lewis Boulevard and the Q31 on Utopia Parkway. Now, what you guys really know about the Orion 5s is definitely they were faster than they were back in the day. Yeah, I admit back in the day they were a little sluggish, but with the depots of the Bronx, Queens, and Staten Island, 
and of course Grand Avenue Depot, when they had Orion 5s, they take really good care of their equipment. Now I can honestly say the Orion 5s of Staten Island really have stood the test of time. As you know with Staten Island drivers, they are fast. They don't last like nobody's business, whether you're on Forest Avenue, Richmond Terrace, or even Holland Boulevard for that matter. So you better find some seatbelts to strap your ass in ASAP. Now the one thing that I really like about the Orion 5s is their overall speed. Zooming down whatever street you're on, whether you're in the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Staten Island, it really doesn't matter. Now, the first time I remember riding a Ryan 5 in Manhattan was definitely at the old Mother Clara L Depot, especially on the M1, zooming down Fifth Avenue when it went limited to West South Ferry, before it got shortened towards 8th Street. Now, the Orion 5s, I can honestly say, they had a lot of great features, with, you know, with the bells and the comfortable seats, but the one thing that I really didn't like about the Orion 5s is that during the summertime, when it got ridiculously hot, the back seats burned your ass like a piece of rotisserie go. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it like that, but honestly, the Orion 5s has stood the test of time right next to the Nova buses of the RTS. Now, I know that they're slowly retiring, and a lot of us bus fans have been going nuts to trying to catch the last few that are still in operation at NYC. So I encourage you to get your rides in ASAP, because when they're gone, there'll be nothing but a memory, and they're slowly being retired due to the incoming delivery of the Nova LFSs and Nuvaya XD40s. Now don't get me wrong, I do like those buses, but these Orion 5s still have a little bit of life in them, even though they're sounding like they're dying already. Now, in conclusion, the most thing that I like about the Orion 5s is definitely its sleek feature. Now, of course, with the Orion 5 CNGs, with the CNG tank on top, yeah, I admit they were slow, but I still miss those buses, even though they officially retired as of two years ago. So, I can honestly say the Orion 5s have done their job and done their job well. With their overall speed, their air conditioning, and let's not forget the sound of that sweet engine. Sounding like a ZF on steroids. So, that is what it is. So until then, I'm Reggie Romulan Davis, and don't let anyone steal your joy. And as always, keep it simple and keep it real. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to throw you back to my good friend, Kalel C. Johnson. And my buddy, J.S. Here are my thoughts of the 1999 Orion 5s. My, my first encounter of those Orion 5s were pretty amazing. They changed a lot from the ones from 1993 and, and the ones from 1995 and 1996. Well, enough of those Orions. We'll talk about the ones from 1999. The interior change, the interior change, the design, design changed a little bit in the interior. It has a different door, doorbell. For, for the stop requested thing, as the illuminated flip dot destination signs, and I was like, "Whoa, that's an improvement, man! That that really say something." I first encountered that on the BX twenty one when the BX twenty one was part of Mother Clara Hale Depot at the time. It was number six thousand and one. And I was, and I was stunned when I saw it. Man, I, I see those a lot um, on the BX19, the BX21, the M1, and the BX33. And yeah, BX33, the Q44, yes, the Q44, and the BX15. I see those Orion 5s when they were brand new at the time. But by growing up seeing those Orions, most of them aged pretty well. Depending on which depot they come from. So, some look beat up, but they run pretty well. But it's sad to see those Orion 5s retiring 
that's another way of kissing my childhood goodbye. Now, I personally think these Orion 5s were just okay to me. Up until recently, they were just there to bolster the fleet for the time being, which is probably why the order wasn't as large. Though I really miss seeing these on the M1, M2, M7, and M104 at a, at a Mother Clara Hill and Amsterdam Depot, and I'm sure a lot of us do. Also, a lot of these Orion 5s have been repainted into the white bag scheme, which I personally dislike. But on the other hand, it does look good when it's clean, mind you. Though many still have the original black back. Unfortunately, these Orion fires are quickly being retired and scrapped due to serious structural damage and early rust corrosion, which is mainly because their production was rushed and they weren't really built thoroughly. This is really starting to show on the exterior and interior, as seen on these photos of 6,000. And I mean, it's bad. Like, this has me saying stuff like, And many have already been retired, scrapped, and replaced by the brand new New Flyer Excelsiors and Nova LFSs. Right now, we're currently down to three remaining units in service at East Chester Depot. So this is the opportunity to, to get your rides in now. And I mean now. Because you know what they say, what's here today could be gone tomorrow. And once these are finally retired, it'll be the end of the Orion 5 era for New York City Transit, period. Now, I'm sure a lot of us will miss these, while some of us probably won't even notice them missing. I personally believe that if these were made better than they were, then they will most likely be here for a few more years. But hey, it is what it is. So as for these Orion 5s, get your rides in ASAP. Because once they're gone, that's it. For some of us, they'll be forgotten. While for some, they'll always be remembered as New York City Transit's last Orion 5s. So with that said, this is Kalel Johnson thanking you guys for watching and enjoy the Orion 5s while they're still around.